What do you and Bill refuse to spend money on? Okay, let me think about that. <laughs> We opened up our, to our audience. We said, if you could ask Melinda Gates one question, what would you ask her? We got a ton of questions. So we chose several. Okay. And we'd like to sort of go through them rapid fire, say the first thing that comes to mind. All right. What book has had the biggest impact on you? Mark Nepo's The Book of Awakening. And what is the most frequent disagreement you and Bill have? How to allocate our time. What's the first thing you do every morning? Meditate. Uh, MBA. Worth it, not worth it? Absolutely worth it. College degrees in general? Totally worth it. What's the best advice you've ever gotten from Warren Buffett? Believe in yourself, you're doing the right thing. And who is your hero? My hero in life, uh, he's passed away, but was Nelson Mandela. I mean, he took a situation that was very difficult and he managed to forgive and move everybody forward in his country. So he's my hero. Mm. And what's one daily practice that makes your life better? Uh, yoga. Yoga. Mm -hmm. What do you and Bill refuse to spend money on? Okay, let me think about that. <laughs> oh, what do we refuse to spend money on? Um, plastic straws? <laughs> ah. If you had to start all over again tomorrow, what would you do? What space would you go into? I would go into the cross between biology and technology. That is just ch gonna change our lives. And to me, that's a really exciting space. What's the most down-to-earth thing you do with your family in your free time? Play games. Like what? Oh gosh, we have all kind of card games we play and we have running charades we like to play, a game we call the bowl game, which is another form of charades. It's intense. <laughs> <laughs> I like to tease my husband that he's competitive, which he absolutely is, but as my kids point out, I'm just as competitive when it comes to charades. <laughs> <laughs> if our audience could take away one thing from you, from your book, what would you want them to know? I want them to know that society will be better off if we lift up everybody. We lift up women, we lift up people of color, that if we give people equal voice in decision making and seats at the table, society overall is going to be better off. And it's what I want people to know is it's totally possible.